Let's go live. How's it going? It's Noel over here battling MS. And today in Verbal on Life, we're going to take a look at the NY, I'm sorry, YSL trial, the most expensive trial in Georgia. And it's unraveling like a movie. But we're going to take a look. And it's beyond movie interesting. It's more interesting than a movie, is what I meant to say. More interesting than a movie. Well, I'm talking too much, but the trial is going to happen. We got YSL. We got murder charges. So YSL is a rapper. We don't know. We got people going down for murder charges. We got people pleading the fifth. We got judges breaking the law. Insane. Who would have thought this was going to happen in New York? But let me settle up. Let me settle the camera. Can I get this done? All right, we're going to take a look at the YSL trial. Let me cut. All right, Mr. Williams, Mr. Steele, Mr. Adams, good morning. Five. Uh... All right, Mr. Williams, Mr. Steele, Mr. Adams, good morning. Uh, Mr. Kendrick and Mr. Weinstein, and Mr. App, good morning. I'm doing a little roll call. All right, Mr. Yu and Mr. Matthews Jr., good morning. All right, Mr. Nichols and Mr. Garner, good morning. All right, Mr. Ryan and Misty Williams, good morning. All right. A little roll call. All right, Mr. Smith, Mr. Brown. Um, Shout Mr. Atkins, Ms. Love, Sincerely. Ms. Hilton. Right. Now for the really important people, um, Ms. Knight, Mr. Kokomo, uh, Ms. Halterwinger, Mr. Pines, Mr. Monsbach, anybody else? Oh, good morning. Can y'all hear again? that? That sounds like a hot mic. All Let's go. Can y'all hear that, or is it just me? I hear some, I hear some it's clicking. It's like they're talking in the background, right? It's like typing. Yeah. All right. Let's get um, Mr. Copeland back in here, please. All right. Here comes Woody, guys. Here comes oh, Woody. Oh Lord. Now remember, <laughs> the Bloods want to kill Woody. Uh, Young Thug wants to kill Woody. Do y'all hear all that background talking? Yeah. Or just me? No, but if it. I mute the stream, then it goes away. I can hear it. So some type of interference with the with the courtroom audio. Because hmm. I'm because you don't hear it now, do you? No. But now I'm gonna unmute the stream. Do you hear it now? Thank you. I'm gonna mute it for a while. So this is the lead attorney. He's streaming the, the court trial and he's gonna be. Providing legal advice to us, so telling us what's going on legally. The man is a genius, and he's there with his co-host, um, Avenue, I forgot her name, Avenue 7. Representing the L.A. Dodgers. Thank you so much, Talking Trash and Truth, gifting five memberships. Guys, if you... Av to the fifth, I think is her name. All right, let's take a look. Thank you for the membership. I like you got some home training. All right, now, thanks to Trash, uh, Talking Trash and Truth, she has saved five, five of y'all from not getting locked out because I'm looking at my likes. Uh-oh. And I, I need a 50%. Okay, so the trial started at 10 in the morning. Right now it's 11, so we are an hour behind. So this is what happened earlier today. This is 40 minutes before what's actually happening now. So I'm just going to play the video, having the leader turning commentating. And again, if you like the stream, go ahead and give it a like. And join the channel. Let's take a look. All right. All right. We don't wait on y'all to get um, my like. We're going to continue with our current witness. Um, Mr. Copeland, you're still on the road, okay? All right, sir? Shout out to Clay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's take a look. All right. 
All right, y'all are trying to get my likes right. I, I need half and half. Echo, page Use a microphone. Let's go. Thank you so much. Hey, girl. I, mean, I can't even read that. Looking at hey girl, it's Pearl. 73 of it's 164 Pearl. Echo. Who is in the depicted in those pictures? Man, y'all do it. All right. And I want to scroll down to um, page 2373 of 164 Echo. Now, this is a little Woody. He's do the you one. see, similar to yesterday, the date. You can scroll back up, Mr. Woody. Okay. Do you see that line that says taken? To my the top mobile, same yeah. place. Yes, sir. What is that? <coughs> Shout out to the little thing. This one or that The one at the top. What about it? What is it? What is the date? Uh, 2014. And then do you see a number? Next to the 24th? Yeah, 7 dash 31. Okay. You say that to be July 31st, 2014. Yeah. I guess. All right. Now scrolling down to the text. I guess. At the bottom, yes, before. If you could please read what the text says. He is streets. AV, write your. Uh, Who did you? 372. Write your. Or put the link to your channel in the chat so I can pin it. Got my bet. Love him like. Mm, my mom. And then does it say who the photo is by? Let's we'll scroll over to the right. It doesn't say who took the picture. All right. Now, thank you, Mr. Andrews. Since you've been released from custody in 2019, have you flown on a plane with Young Thug? I was on probation. <laughs> so is the yes or no? Have I, you can't use, I can't use it. I can't use it. City. To your knowledge, have you been posted or tagged in any Young Thug picture since 2019? Not to my knowledge. I don't know. And y'all go subscribe to AV. Her uh, link is pinned to the chat. Since 2019, Thank have me. you um, been? With the uh, together in the club, not seeing him in the club, but you two all actively were together in the club. You said since twenty nineteen. Yes, sir. I am hearing Fox 5's office. I am, I'm hearing the employees in the office. Can you hear that? Do you hear that talking in the background? Yes. Yeah. Whenever you're ready to answer. Can y'all hear oh. it in the chat? What I supposed to say? I, need I think you should say something else. Yeah. Try 11 yes, alive. The question I just asked. Oh, what is your question? Sure. Since 2019, have you and Thug been together in the club. Now, I've seen him in the club, but you two actively were at the club together. Either y'all went to the club together, y'all were at the club together. Have you done that since 2019? Give me one second, guys, because Fox 5... Give me one second. Give me one second. We're going to switch feeds here, because... I can hear in my ear where it's like their office. <laughs> I can hear yeah. the, the crowd, but I can also hear their office and, and their employees talking about what the hell's going on over there. So let me switch feeds. Uh, we're going to jump to Alema Live. See what they talking about. Give me one second. All Hopefully right. Hopefully will be clearer. We'll be back. Yeah, chat well, saying that they could hear it too. Y'all could hear it too. Mm -hmm. Shout out to my man, the little gaming channel. I hear nothing on that max volume. 
No, I'm not playing it, but I hear something in my ear. Maybe it's me. At any rate, let me go. All right, let's go. Can you hear that? Mm-hmm. Yep. All right, here we go, guys. Here we go. Sorry about that, guys. Struggle streaming. All right. Now scroll down to the text at the bottom. That's before. If you could please read what the text says. Shout out to the little Ooh, gaming yeah. channel. Thank Three, you. Seven, Got my back. Love him like mm, my mom. Damn. Who the photo is? I don't know if I would ever say I love a dude like yeah, my mama. Yeah. All right. That's a little deep right there. Now, thank you. Since you've been released from custody in 2019, have you flown on a plane with Young Thug? I was on probation. So it's a yes or no. I can't call. use it. I can't use uh, it. To your knowledge, have you been posted or tagged in any Young Thug picture since 2019? Not, not, I don't know. Somebody dropped a little gaming channel link in the chat. Excellent content have creator. You, um, been with the uh, together in the club. Not seen him in the club, but you two all actively were together in the club. Shout out to my man E. Capone. Sends me five dollars on the cash app. You said since 2019? Yes, sir. Oh my god, is he thinking about it? <laughs> <laughs> Whenever you're ready to answer. Oh. What I supposed to say? I think you should yes say no. something else. No, I'm waiting for your answer. Yes or no? Answer to it. The question. Oh God. Asking. Oh, what is your question? Sure. <laughs> Since 2019, have you and Thug been together in the club? Not I've seen him in the club, but you two actively were at the club together. And y'all went to the club together. Y'all were at the club together. Have you done that since 2019? I'll stand the question. That was Mr. Matthews Jr. Um, and Mr. Weinstein, can you favor to push the camera on the top of the podium? Thank you so much, Melody. Shout out to Melody. Push the, push the camera at the top. Shout out to Hey Girl, it's Pearl. Just press press new down. New member. Thank you so much. You, we got a new jewel raw in the house. Since 2019, have you and Young Thug been together in the club? And I'm not talking about I saw him in the club, but you two have been together in the club. Um, I can't recall. Is it fair to say that your relationship after you got out of prison is not the same as it was before you went to prison in 2015? Huh? <laughs> oh my God. More of this. So the form of the question? I sustain the question. You can rephrase it. Shout out to Melody. Is says, Lee, check the, the video in your email. Thing? I don't know. Thank you so much. As it was before you went to prison in 2015. Confusing questions. So confusing. Do you have the same relationship with Young Thug since you left prison in 2019 as you had with him before you went to prison in 2015? So. I got, I'm, I'm confused, so help me understand. If you and her is, y'all got a relationship 10 years ago, so today is y'all relationship the same from 10 years ago today? Oh, Lord. Is your relationship the same? I'm trying, I'm trying, I need to answer. Is your relationship the same as it was 10 years ago? I don't think nothing would be the same from 10 years ago. Uh, I don't know how to answer that. I don't know. I mean, he's is right. That's a weird question. The, or worse or the same? Uh, weird question. That's a better question. Um, I don't know. I don't know how to. I don't know what to say to it. I don't. Do you speak 
English. Have you, yes or no? <laughs> have you spoken with Thug in the year of 2024? Yes or no? This year? This year. Uh, no. Okay. In the year of 2023, have you spoken with Thug? Yes or no? Yes, you need rules, sir. Uh, no. In 2022, have you spoken with Thug? Yes or no? I don't know. Oh, Shout out to Deonra. I, I, uh... <laughs> <laughs> He's struggling. He's struggling. There is young thug over there, all the way there in the back, sitting next to his attorney, Brian Steele. I can't recall if I if I was in. I can't recall when did I got arrested. I don't know if it was 21 or 22. I don't. And I don't want to say yeah or no to it because I don't know if I was on the street or if I was in jail. Let me ask you this. Why you were in prison? Did you ever, why you were in prison? Did you ever speak with them? No. All right. Thank you for that. Do you know someone by the name of Marquavius Hughes? No. Do you know someone named Quay? I know a lot of queries. Okay. Do you see any of the queries that you know in the courtroom today? Shout out to Atlanta. Okay. How many of the queries do you know are in the courtroom today? One. Okay. Can you identify him by article of clothing that he was wearing? Atlanta is full of queries. <laughs> Where is he sitting right there? Like, I don't know what color it is he got on. All right. Is he, you said over there. Is he sitting? Is it the man with the gray and cream jacket? Uh, it shows it shows so reflect. Thank you. Shout out to Brandon. This is actually How a great a great comment, that? Brandon. Thank you. Not long. I want to see Judge Glanville get cross examined. Long. What does that mean? Mm -hmm. I don't know Quay like it. Have you known him for a year? More than a year? I haven't been around him a year. So just because I know somebody, I I've been in jail. I've been away, so So are you saying you just met him in 2023? I met Quay probably, I only knew Quay personally, been around him no less than 90 days, like no longer than 90 days. I don't know. I haven't been around him personally I don't, to say I know him that well. Let me ask you this. In 2021, did you know Quay? I think it's when I met him. Shout out to Dapper Ted. Dapper Ted is right. Just go on and tell it. No, I don't. Mm -hmm. Dapper Ted says all this half ass telling. Yeah, right. Just go on and damn tell it. Speak it. And they want you dead anyways. Did you consider Quay a friend? I consider him cool. I'm going to start in 2021. How often, if at all, did you see Quay? I don't know. Would it be weekly? I seen I I seen him when I seen him. Okay. Would that be once a week, <laughs> once a month, every couple of days? Who keeps I saw him when we had time to see, see each other. And I'm asking very specific. I can't I can't say how often that was. Y'all look good in the chat, man. Y'all are coming <laughs> up with some great comments. <laughs> <laughs> when I wake up. My day is not planned. I just go with the day. And so I'll just ask you again. Say that again. Would you see him on a weekly basis? <laughs> I, saw him I saw him. Oh my God. <laughs> would you speak with him on the phone? Yeah. Was that how often would you speak with him on the phone? A when lot. we had to call each other for something. Was that did you speak with him on the phone more than when you actually saw him in person? <laughs> I spoke to him when, when we spoke to each other. <laughs> These questions. Did you see him in person more? What you mean? Yeah. Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> tap dancing. Did you see him more? Or did you speak with him on the phone more? Meaning? Right, what do you mean? <laughs> you said you spoke with him on the phone. I have, yeah. Did you speak with him on the phone every day? Did you speak with him on the phone once a week? Did you speak with him on the phone? Who keeps track? Hell no. 
I don't know. I spoke to him when I spoke to him. There you go. You said that you all would see each other. When you would see each other, what type of things would you all do? What is Thank you so much, Karen. Shout out to Karen Lewis, a new member of the nice. jury. Go to parties. We mainly shot dice. Did you ever speak with Quay via FaceTime or some other video chat? These are dangerous questions. The What's, what, what you mean some type of other video chat? Well, let me just ask you first. Did you ever speak with Quay on FaceTime? I can't recall if I have. I bet you there's a screen recording of him talking to Quay on FaceTime. I bet you. Exactly. I bet you. Crazy. He's, she's trying to pin him down. And he's fighting it. He's fighting it. But, you know, just go on and tell it. Would you <laughs> give Quay advice? Would I give Quay advice? Yes. She's got a recording of him giving Quay you, advice. Did you advise Quay on certain people he should hang around with? Oh. Or not hang around with? What about? Quay? <laughs> 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 he should or should not hang around with? Hell no. <laughs> I probably have. Okay. Specifically, did you advise Quay on whether he should hang around? Probably. Have you ever advised Quay on hanging around Young Thug? This dude is for real. I told it's Quay better that, that we can't yeah, see I him. I have a personal problem with Young Thug. Did you advise him on... Wait, he had a personal he... problem with Young Thug? Hold up now. Have you ever advised Quay on hanging around Young Thug? Um, I told Quay that man, I have a personal problem with Young Thug. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Whoa. Did you advise him on whether or not he should hang around Young Thug? I thought I just answered it. No, you told him that you you answered you had a personal problem with Thug. That wasn't right. The and I told him that yeah, this okay, yeah, I advise him that. What is the that that you're referring to? Whatever you just asked me, I agree to what you just uh, said. So for clarity for the record, you've advised Quay about hanging around Young Thug. I don't. What's your objection? He hasn't really clarified, and I think she's trying again to clarify. So I'm going to your objections. You advised him on hanging around Young Thug. I told Quay that he needed to watch who he hang around. And was that in 2021? I don't know when it was. Keeping it real. The man is keeping it real. Shout out to Woody. You met in 2021. Have you spoken with Quay in this year, 2024? No. You said, have I talked to him this year? Yes. No. What about last year in 2020? I cut all communication with everybody, period. Wow. Yep. Once I started I speaking with nobody, they want to kill him. We've talked about Quay, Thug, Shannon, and Yay. Do you know any of the other defendants? In no, the I don't know nobody else. I don't. How many? <laughs> we said before, do you know any of the other? Defendants? No, I don't know. Okay. Do you know someone by the name of Trontavia Stevens or Tick? Uh, who? Tick or Slug. Yeah. Do you know him by his given name or just Tick or Slug? I know him by Tick. Okay. About how long have you known Tick? 
Bond door. Oh, wow. Jesus Christ. How's your meat Don't know. And when you say for a while, would that be more than five years ago? Yes. I think I said, okay. Got a yes out of it. Back when you first met Tick, how would you describe your relationship with Tick? I don't know. I can't reflect back on when I first met him. Why can't you reflect on when you first met him? I know a whole lot of people. What was your relationship like with Tick? What you mean? (laughs) (laughs) Just like it would be with anybody else from that I know. You get along with everybody that you know? Yeah, we cool. So are you saying that you were cool with Tick? That's what I said. It's messed up that they got her, they got the microphone right in front of the camera. I know. What you mean? Did y'all go out? <laughs> go shoot dice? Go to the club? What type of things? Things young black men do in the neighborhood. I don't know what young black men do in the neighborhood. So what Try to survive and stay away from the police. Hello. Wow. There you go. Yeah, get locked up. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You got my criminal history, right? We're not talking about your criminal history, Mr. Copeland. Whoa. Is there anything else that you all used to do? I don't recall. He know how to say that. I don't want to show you. Shout out to Daddy Dane. (laughs) Says lead. The judge completely suspects it's Woody's lawyer that snitched. He said it as he was confronting Brian Steele. That's why he didn't want to release her. And that's why he wants a show cause hearing. Daddy Dame is exactly right. Guys, what we really should do, there's no time for it. But what we really should do is go back and re-listen to some of this stuff. Because now that we have fuller context, we will pick up on so much more. I was listening to some of this stuff last night. I was like, oh my God, this and that and this and that. It's all kind of fallen into place now. Mm-hmm. He absolutely, um, when I say he, Glanville, Glanville absolutely thinks it was it was Miss Rumpkus. <laughs> she had that rump, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, she absolutely, uh, Judge Glanville absolutely thinks it was her that yeah. that ratted to Brian Steele, and that's why he didn't want to release her from the case. And then when he found out that he had to. He ordered her back. Also, mm-hmm. a little Woody, the reason that the state is talking to little Woody is because eventually they're going to want him to say that young thug murdered Nut. Do you know what little Woody said in, in the secret meeting? Little Woody said in the secret meeting that he himself, little Woody, murdered Nut. That's crazy. He, he confessed to murdering little uh he, little Woody confessed to murdering Nut. Now, did Little Woody actually actually murder Nut? Hell no. No, he didn't murder Nut. But he's trying to take the fall. He's trying to he's trying to help his gang out because his gang wants to kill him. And guys, I cannot tell you how it, how out how outrageous it is that Little Woody was talking to the judge and the prosecutors in secret, admitted to a murder. And no one told any of the defense counsel. That's crazy. I've got that's, that's I, wild. Isn't that insane? That's crazy. I have got a um I've got a heavyweight coming in. Hopefully he'll come in around lunchtime. This is this is my one of my best friends, former law partner. This is my brother. And he's a heavyweight. <laughs> he's a heavyweight. Uh he does he 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 solely practices criminal law. And uh I want him to uh talk about. I want him to talk about the the, the goings on as well. So hopefully he'll be able to join us and we'll get his uh, take on things. Yeah. Shout out to Daddy Dane. Me, Ted, and Lady. I 
Shout out to Moreno Tranquilo, eso, eso, mi carnal, Arturo. I am going to, uh, hopefully he'll be able to join. And shout out to Arturo, one of my best friends, one of my former law partners. Just a brother. Melissa says, Woody and Nut. Isn't that crazy? Some of these names, you got Lil D, you got a few Lil Ds. You got <laughs> Lil Woody, <laughs> you got Nut. <laughs> it's like, Jesus, guys, how are y'all coming up with these names? That tick, Quay. <laughs> For real. So they are conferencing there. Thank you so much, Eric. Shout out to Eric Wooten. Shout out to King. King Brown says Woody is a piece of work. 100%. 100%. Shout out to Kobe Tiger. Thank you for becoming a new member. They are up. All the attorneys you see are up at the, the bar there having a little conference. Thank you, Kobe Tiger, for becoming a new member. Oh, they, the judge just kicked his ass. Uh, the judge just kicked little Woody from the stand, so don't be oh, missing. Oh man! <laughs> the judge, the judge absolutely feels that it's either uh, little Woody's attorney or little Woody. It's one of the two, but the judge really believes that it's it's the it's the attorney. But the judge ain't taking no chances with little Woody either. So the judge kicked him out of kicked him off the witness stand while he's talking to the attorneys. That makes sense. Which is rare. Thank you yeah. so much, Kobe Tiger. Shout out to Richard LaFleur. Becoming a new member. And if y'all want to support really AV, y'all can see her cash app down there. Also, we got 6,600 people in the chat. Y'all go subscribe. Go subscribe to my girl, AV. Give her a sub. She does this type of content as well, but it's, it's more fuller. It's in more detail. That makes sense that that lawyer was to snitch because she got fired, and at that point she didn't care about anything. Her her channel is into the top. They're really not using the uh, microphones like they should. Yeah, I wonder if it's just this feed or all of them. He's back. They take mo pictures, man. I'm just this old. This is a lot of Instagram pictures, like, and this is like in 2014, 2015. Yeah. Hopefully, you know who you are. If you can tell the jury, thank you, Richard. Who is Tick and who is Little D? Who is Tick? In the middle. Little D, the one with the Dallas Cowboys sweatshirt. If this me, this tit. Okay. They got no choice but to be Little D. Earlier, you talked about another Little D that you called your son. Is this the same Little D? Do they look like the same Little D? Wow. Your question. Is it the same Little D? No. All right. How do you distinguish this Little D from the other? He mad as hell. They look like two different people. When you are addressing or talking about them, how do you distinguish the two Little D? From each other. What you mean? If you call one of them Little D from Cleveland. <laughs> if you ask me, if you ask me which Little D I'm talking about, and that's what I'm asking you. When you are well, talking, you should just ask me that, Mr. Copeland. Which Little D? <laughs> you you see him close his arms. About him? You're talking about the two Little Ds. How do you distinguish this Little D? I just said he Little D from Cleveland Avenue. About how old I love Woody. I love Woody. I don't know. Do you have hair on your head when you take the picture? What you when trying you to took the picture? <laughs> He's like, what you trying to say? Did y'all see his face? Oh my god! You're like, what did y'all say, Lee? Did you have hair on your head? We you did. What, what you trying to say? <laughs> <laughs> did y'all see that? Hold on, we gotta rewind that. He was about to get up. <laughs> what, uh, uh, <laughs> he 
was about to start throwing hands. Like, watch his expression, oh, guys. Yeah. He took offense. He took that personally. Watch his, watch his <laughs> face. Hell no. Let's go. Oh, I don't know. You have hair on your head when you take this picture. What you, trying you to... took the picture. What you trying to say? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it looked like I got hair on my head. How oh my head? god! <laughs> I'm trying to keep it in. Count to ten, Woody. Count to ten. What you trying? I got a prison. So this is before you went into prison. This an old picture, and that's what I need to know. Thank you very much. I love Woody. Shut up. Somebody write Woody in the damn chat. He trying. Look at how he's look at how he's looking at her. How long have you known Little D from Cleveland? Huh? How long have you known Little D? <laughs> known who? How long have you known Little D from Cleveland? Little D, little dick. I don't know little dick. I know him back in 20. I think I met him in 13, 2013. Do you recall? I how, think. Oh, that's fine. Do you recall how you met? Well, you just see somebody around. Back in 2013, when y'all first met, how would you describe your relationship with him? Were with your who? friends? <laughs> who? With who? Little D from Cleveland. Shout out to Luke Cage. How would I describe our friendship? If you had, did, let me ask you, did you have a friendship with Little D from Cleveland? He just admitted to the friendship. <laughs> mm-hmm. I wouldn't say a friendship. Did you um, hang out with him, like go to the club with him, or talk about shooting dice? How to, did you do those things with Little D? I try to get over on him. What, what is that? What? what is that? <laughs> You're right. Dice with me, I'm trying to get over on him. Okay. I guess then he would try to win the dice game. I won't treat him like a friend. You would not. Welcome to Atlanta, guys. Welcome to Atlanta. Have you ever had Little D purchase guns for you? Nope, but I took a gun from him. So your testimony said that he did not purchase it for you, that you took a gun from him. You talking about a specific situation? Has there ever been a time that you had Little D purchase a gun for you? My federal case? Who knows? Is there a time that she I said my federal case? <laughs> you said your He's federal case. She's saying the case they sent me to the feds. What are you talking about for the jury? Oh, the jury's in there. I had forgotten all about the damn I'm jury. Your question. I understand. You're saying your federal case that they sent you to the feds. What does that have to do with little D purchasing a gun for you? The uh, Homicide investigator told me that I had the rights to protect myself. Okay. So I believed the way he said and got a gun to protect myself. And how did you get that gun? I paid someone to go, I paid the dealer to go get it. Uh oh, he's snitching now. He's snitching. Yeah. 2015. You are not allowed to do that. Yeah. Street code? That's called a straw buyer. You are not allowed to purchase guns for people. So he is saying that Little D was a straw buyer and uh, <clears throat> that might be a felony. Do you know someone by the name of Antonio Sledge? Do you know someone by the name of Antonio Sledge? No. Thank you know you, someone who goes by the name of Monson? Yes. How long have you known Moonsong? Wait, what's the name? Moonsong? Moonsong? <laughs> Moon Moon 
Do you know someone by the name of Antonio Sledge? Do you know someone by the name of Antonio Sledge? No. Do you know someone who goes by the name of Muntzel? Yes. How long have you known Muntzel? Who the hell is Muntzel? <laughs> I don't, I don't know what yeah I made him. Street was that before you met Little D from Cleveland? After Little D from Cleveland? Be, I think it's before. Mook Tonk. Did you remember how you met? <laughs> Mook Tonk. Okay. I'm gonna yeah. put it in yeah. the chat. I about to do something to him. Uh oh. What were you about to do? <laughs> you need to plead the fifth. Beat him up. Why were you about to beat him up? Because he, he was in the wrong business. What? After you were about to beat him up, did you somehow develop a friendship with Monto? Somebody else called me to protect him. Okay. When did you get a call in order to have to protect Monto? If you're talking about you met him before 2013 and you're about to, you're about to beat him up, <laughs> when did you get a call to have to protect him? This same day. And if you were about to beat him up, what? Well, let me strike that. Did you make a decision to protect him? Did you decide to protect him? Me? Yes. What do you mean? I asked you how did you all become friends. You said someone. He called my phone, talking crazy. Let me ask you a simple, fly question. At some point, did you and Monson become friends? Yes or no? Later down the line. Okay. When did you all become friends? Later down the line. You about to beat him up? Was it two months after you about to beat him up? Was it a year after you about to beat him up? <laughs> this guy. I love Woody. <laughs> she didn't hear me. It was within the time frame where he caught my phone. I guess I'm, I'm a couple of days. I don't know. Let me ask you this in January of 2015. At that point in time, were the two of you friends? Yes. I told you. I'm going to speak about a specific time frame. End of 2014. Early December, early January 2015, how often would you and Monto spend time together? Can you say that again? Sure. I'm focusing on late 2014. Late 2014. January of 2015. All right. How often would you and Monto spend time together? Every day. Every day. Well, well, I'm saying a lot. And during that time frame, when you all would spend time together, what types of things would you all be doing? Again, again late 2014, January 2015. You said, what was, what was we what doing? What type of things would y'all do? Gamble. Like, we gamble most of our time. Shoot dice. Anything else? Go out. That's it. Is it fair to say, would you all talk to each other on the phone as well? No. The far as we talk on the phone is, what you got going for the day? Where you at? That's it. And what? have you ever FaceTime with um, back? I'm talking about late 2014, January 2015. Uh, I don't, not that I know of. They got FaceTime records. Yep. We're talking about October, November, December 24. Thank you, Pi. Pi says Moonton is Thug's brother. Mm. It kind of rings a bell. <clears throat> as long as you show me the Shout out to Coco, the beautiful. Uh oh. Coco is in the ATL. We got some AT aliens up here. What high school you went to, Coco? Moonton. 
<laughs> Shout out to Freddie. Freddie Robinson hitting your boy in the cash app. Says uh, sends me ten dollars. Says Jeopardy. Things blacks do in the neighborhood. All right. Shoot dice. What else? Go out. Try not to get arrested. Try not to get arrested. Did it work? No, they sent me to the feds. (laughs) (laughs) That's crazy. You heard rare form this morning. (laughs) I'm not sure your name. Hell no. Oh my God, Woody. I love Woody. <laughs> Jesus. Shout out to Tanner. Tanner be from Augusta, Georgia. All right, that's where they uh, play the Masters. I can't see this photo. Monk, don't. What is protected? So he could say what I love this dude, man. He is hilarious. I'm trying to figure out if that's a bulge on the side of his mouth. Like, or is it like gum thing. or something, right? Yeah, I saw that. I was like, is something at happening? Yankee and looking at what's on the screen because that appeared to be the same image. Yeah. Me and Montana. Thank you. Y'all, that's how to say what I can say. Shout out to TRT. Thank you so much. Super generous of you. That's what I need to get on. Shit, I'm 47, guys. I need to get on this uh this TRT, this uh <laughs> testosterone replacement therapy. You old. Maybe it'll help me lose some weight. Your boy getting thick. What's this? I would why would you ever take a photo like that as a man? Just lean up against another nigga's <laughs> shoulder. <laughs> Oh, that's Monk Tonk. That's his brother? Who? Who? Yeah. I'm going to show you what's already been admitted. Thank you so much, TRT. Somebody write TRT in the chat. Does he remind y'all from about D'Angelo from The Wire? I've never seen The Wire. Who is at 51W? That's crazy. Big Boo. Who does he know another person? Shannon. All right. And is Big Boo still alive? You say, is he still alive? No, he was killed. <laughs> Did he pass away? No, he was killed. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, Woody. It's crazy. Jeez. Thank y'all for know. shouting out TRT. Was it around at 2013? I mean, excuse me, before 2013? I don't watch TV, guys. I knew of him before I knew him. So I can't recall when we actually. Let me ask you this. Did you know Big Boo before you knew Little D for Cleek? Yes. Do you remember how you met him? Who? Big Boo. I said I, I knew of him before I, so. Well, someone, when you actually started meeting him, do you remember how you met him? How would you describe your relationship with him? What you mean? Like when you first met him. <laughs> oh my God. Trump, yeah, we got to get that on the shirt. How would you describe your relationship? 
I used to see him with a lot of money. I married it. Try to confuse him. It's crazy. And would you speak with him often? Thank nope. you. I'll check that in a second. Thank you so much, whoever sent that. I saw him a lot. <laughs> but we we wasn't we wasn't we didn't communicate a lot. Earlier, there was a picture with an individual by the name of O.G. Bentley. Do you remember looking at that picture yesterday? No, I don't. All right. Thank you again, TRT. Really appreciate it, brother. Thank you. A lot of confusing questions. Shout out to Woody. Holding it down. And he doesn't get in trouble for anything he says. Y'all are y'all are in rare form in this chat. Y'all are leaving such good comments. <laughs> good comments. Can you be more pacific? <laughs> you talking to me? Oh my god. Talking to me. You remember seeing that picture yesterday? Yeah, I remember. Okay. And the individual that's to my left, he definitely said his name OG, or you knew him as OG? He's my this dude right here. Yes. What about him? Do you know him? Not personally. When you say not personally, what do you mean? Have you ever spoken with him? I'm pretty sure I probably have. Have you ever gone out with him to the club? Yeah. Back in 2014 and January of 2015. Thank you. I'll check it in a second. Thank you. Have you ever spoken with him during that time period? Time period? Him? Yes. Sir. I I I don't even pay this guy no attention, so I better remember him like that. Like he he never been affected. Uh, what? I don't. When you said that you've been to the club, is that around 2014, 2015, or some other time? You you said something about the club. I asked you, have you gone to the club with him? You said yes. Oh, no, I'm saying like, to be honest, I I thought he was his manager or something. I don't, I don't, <laughs> I'm not a person that asks questions. There you go. So I didn't know, I didn't, I didn't pay him no attention. Like we didn't have any comment or nothing. Like I don't. Exactly. I see no reason for me to talk to him. You can't ask him any questions. We'll be back, Amy. Okay. What made you think that Bentley was Thug's manager? Say so what made me think that? Yeah. From from my observing, that's what it looked like. Okay. All right. Do you know someone by the name of Alexis Greer? No. What about someone by the name of Max? Yeah. Okay. How do you know Max? What you mean, how I know her? Oh, God. How do you know Max? <laughs> She his sister. Who's the he sister that you're referring to? Young Thug sister. Right. There you go. Does she go by any other name besides Max? Uh, Dolly. How long have you known Strike That? What do you call her? Both. Okay. How long have you known Dolly? I don't know. I didn't know her. I don't know her long. Like, I haven't known her long. I believe yesterday you testified that you met Mr. Williams or Thug in 2014. Did you meet her around the same time that you met Thug? I don't know which one of them I met first, but I didn't know they were related until later. Hmm. Wonder why this is coming up. It's the first female. 
Do you remember sitting here now how you met Dolly? Say it again. Do you remember sitting here today how you met Dolly? I remember I was playing with her. When you say playing with her, what do you mean? Like playing, talking, playing, joking, laughing, ha ha. <laughs> was this in the studio, in a house, or somewhere else? Uh, it was outside. Have you ever considered her a friend of yours? Yes. How would you describe her friend? How would you, excuse me, how would you describe your friendship with her? How would I, what you mean? Oh, was Lord. it a good friendship? She was cool, like. I think we need a jar for how many times he says what you mean. I know you just talked about being outside and y'all were laughing and playing. Have you ever been to the club with her? Shout out to Nate, the lawyer. <laughs> he does not want to be a snitch. Club as we going out, club or uh, as her brother going to perform. I, I recall going to shows with her as her brother go perform. But I don't rem I can't recall if we've been out in the clubs together. Did you ever speak with Max over the phone? I don't recall. You smack on FaceTime? FaceTime or just regular just, phone? Just her call? Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't recall talking to her. It's probably a record of it. Did he date her, Ray? <laughs> I'm going to show you what's already been admitted at Big Charlie Charlie. Oh, we know, Nate. We know. <laughs> Ooh, look at this picture. I'm looking at Six Charlie Charlie first. I'm going to ask, do you see Dolly in Six Charlie Charlie? It, this look like her, but I can't say for sure if it's her or not. Okay. And do you know anyone else inside of that picture? Uh, Monton. Is that it? This look. This look like his other sister, but I can't really tell. But I really don't know who. I don't know her name. Very bad, Nate. Next. You know someone by the name of Divorce Francis. And I'm sorry, let me go back to Six Charlie Charlie for a moment. And this is a picture with young Doug siblings. Um, the person that you said looks like Dolly, is that the individual with the white t-shirt? I stay in the question. I just need you to describe for the record, who is the person you said looks like Dolly? Like just describe what she's wearing for the record. The girl right there. And I need you to describe what she, what is she wearing for the picture? Well, I don't know if it's her, I, but the white shirt. And then the person you said looks like his other sister. Are you able to identify um, what color her hair is? No. And then the person with multiple, is that the person who is? I stand in support. Is multiple the person in the front of the picture? Well, on his head in the picture. <laughs> oh, God. Just his head. I can't with this guy. Do you know guy. someone by the name of Javoris Bradford? No. you know someone by the name of Tudor? No.
Okay. Do you know someone by the name of Hua? No. Too struggling here. And with both Tuda and Duop, that's your testimony today that you do not know either of those names. I do not know Tuda or Duop. We have a problem. You got him. You got to get them to say it. Otherwise, you can't bring their evidence in. Crazy names. The moles have the best names. Do you know someone nicknamed Nard? Yes. How many Nards do you know? A lot. I'm going to show you what's already been admitted. A lot. Welcome, Reality 313. That looks like a mugshot. You know who that is? No. But that's your testimony that is. You do not know who that is. I do not know who that is. Oh, no. Now we're at three people in a row that he doesn't recognize. That's a problem for the state. Don't recognize that person. <laughs> okay, we heard you. I do not. I do not recognize him. Woody's gone rogue. Do you know someone by the name of Duke? Duke. Duke. Yes. Okay. How do you know Duke? I've been around a lot. And when you say a lot, is that recently or back in 20? Back in days. Okay, this is before you went to prison in 2015. Yes. When you say you've been around him a lot, how often were you around him? I don't know. This is painfully slow. You need patience for this. Landville's quiet this morning. Are you going to show him something? I All right, Mrs. Bishop, just make sure you show it to defense counsel beforehand. Okay, she's trying to refresh his memory on something. Apparently, our witness can't remember people he's met in the past. He doesn't recognize them now. So Nate was right when he says, what he doesn't want to snitch. He's snitching on some things. But, you know, that is why this testimony is particularly, um, how do I say this? It's like pulling teeth. <laughs> but it's entertaining nonetheless. And the judge told him he's- You guys want to see what you mean merch? Put it in the chat. Woody is protected, so you can say whatever. Defense lawyer's coming up to see what she's about to show him. Look at that, a sea of defense attorneys. Look at Steele. Let's see what Woody says here, if he remembers after this point. So, Lead, you miss Woody not recognizing the last three people that she showed him. Are you serious? Yeah. He's like, I don't know who that is. So it's probably crazy. a mama. <laughs> you need to go on and give it up. Just, just start telling. All of it. Nate, the lawyer's yeah. in the chat. Oh, shout out to Nate, the lawyer. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Nate, the lawyer. Y'all go check Nate, the lawyer out. Excellent content creator. Excellent lawyer. Big shout out to Reality while we are waiting for the uh, the testimony to continue. Shout out to Andrew. Says, isn't Tick the name of the rapper on Family Feud contestant who gave the infamous porcupine answer? Let's see. Andrew, that's a little deep for me. I have no idea <laughs> what we're talking about. Well, I like the context. Thank you so much, Andrew. 
Shout out to Deonra. Says, please run for public office. They don't make enough. They kicked little Woody out again. And guys, um, again, hopefully at lunchtime, uh, my brother will come up. One of my best friends, uh, former law partner. And he is a criminal defense attorney. And I want him to pontificate. I want him to explain to us all the ins and outs of um, this man right here, Judge Glanville, having an ex parte secret meeting with Woody. Mm -hmm. Why, after Woody had been sworn in? I'm more curious about the, the alleged confession. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Looks like the judge is going to take a All break. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, I've had a request to take comfort, okay? So we'll go ahead and take 10 minutes, all right? All right, we're being recessed 10 minutes. All rise. And they're out. Shout out to Audrey. Thank you so much. Because the judge is not taking any chances with Woody. He might be the mole, yeah. I think the lawyer is the mole. Woody's lawyer. Shout out to John Wick. <laughs> I like the spelling of that, John Wick. Not much wood with a Woody Chuck Chuck. It's a Woody Chuck. Hell no, man. <laughs> that is a funny super chat. <laughs> y'all are y'all are on it today. Y'all are absolutely on it today. Shout out to our man John Wick. So what do y'all think, man? Lil Woody is not. We saw him get offended over the fact that he ain't got no hair. He he looked like he wanted to get up and uh slap that lady in the mouth, boy. He he did not like that. Lil Woody, he's trying to walk the line. The bloods want to kill him. YSL wants to kill him. They all think he's a snitch. The judge had him in a secret meeting and said, boy, now listen, son, you didn't want to testify on Friday. I locked you up. Because it was a Friday, you remained incarcerated over the weekend, son. We didn't even have to do that. One of the principal pillars of this entire channel. Um, so just thank you, high value man. He's how are you doing, Pim? Good. Right. Hey, how you doing? Hey, B, how you doing? Good. Hi, nice good, to meet good, you. Good. Nice to see you. Yes, let me introduce my brother now. He is one of the foremost premier criminal defense attorneys in the state of Georgia. Um, he does, he handles state cases, but he also handles a lot of federal cases. And he is fluent in Spanish. He is Colombian. And because of that, you know, he he really uh, supports the Hispanic community um, when he handles cases. So when you call him, you know, I, I never know when I try to get a hold of this brother. Is he in Georgia? Is he in D.C.? Is he in Texas? Um, because he's part of the Hispanic community and everybody trusts him. He handles a lot of the cases in Mexico with the cartels. All right. I'm going to mute it a little bit. Let you guys know. Um, welcome to Verbal on Life. My name is Noel, battling MS. And in this stream, I'm streaming the YSL Georgia case, the Rico case. And it's like watching a movie. Right now, they're interviewing or they're going through little Woody. I'm sorry. Yeah, Woody. They're interviewing Woody or they got him on the stand. And I'm streaming from the lead attorney. He's a top lawyer a great streamer, a YouTube streamer. So I'm using the his stream and his comments on my stream. All right? So if you like what you're looking at, make sure to give it a like. All right? So we can spread the word, get more fans. Oh, no. Get more subscribers. I'm up to 10,800 subscribers. That's insane. That's beyond what I thought I could get. But I'm going to... Right now, the court took a break. So... I'm going to go back to see who the lead attorney is interviewing. If you have any questions, make sure to comment below. 
And if you go anywhere, be sure to hit a like. All right, let me get back to who the lead attorney is interviewing. <laughs> there you go. So shout out to Arturo, man. Now we are still waiting for the judge to come back. I do want to say, guys, that um, uh, Arturo is uh, part of Gactel. Y'all remember when the judge and Judge Glanville um, basically in, in ordered um, Brian Steele incarcerated. And All right, so I'm struggling streaming, so I don't know what why that can that, that can be. So I'm going to see if I could fix this. This is what you call struggle streaming. The stream is not coming through, so it might be. Any reason? Oh, let me see. So it's muted. Now, this Rico K from YSL is like watching a movie, a real life movie, where you have corrupt judges, corrupt lawyers, and we're seeing everything that you would see in a good movie. So. All right, the stream is not working for whatever reason. So I think I may have to call it quits when it comes to streaming the the trial. But also the trial is a good, it shows you how to snitch, it's how information that people have can be used against you in court. So they're trying to do a lot of that, a lot of snitching. All right, the stream is not working, so I might be done with that streaming. But what do you think? Comment below, this YSL case, again, I think it's great. It's amazing. So we have to watch it. All right, I'm Noel, a retired school teacher who is just choosing to stream. Let's see how far we get with this. Now, I don't think I'm able to use somebody else's stream right now because this thing is frozen. It's not letting me partake on this. So I'm going to refresh the page and see if this works. A lot of difficult part of, of um, content creation is finding good content. So, going through that little bit of problems right now. And this why YSL, YSL case is great content. Hey, I think we're back. I remember being interviewed. I don't know who I was there. That was nine years ago. <laughs> It's impossible to really remember that, that from that far back. No, it's just, do you remember me telling you about it right before you came up to take a seat on the stand? <laughs> right, in our secret meetings. Mm -hmm. And we're back. Now, every now and then, Arturo, the, the, the attorneys will caucus up like this. What are they doing? What's, what's the purpose of this? So it could be a couple of things. They could be saying, I'm about to go into this new area of questioning uh, that we talked about. If you have an objection, you need to make it now because the jury is now seated um, behind the camera. Mm -hmm. So it could be uh, we're going to we're going to offer up this document here. If you have any objections to it, you need to let us know now. Otherwise, we're going to start talking about this. And the yeah, judge will tell them in, in private, say, look, if, you, if there's something that I need to be made aware of before you say it from the jury, just give me the signal and we'll talk about it. We'll send them out. Right. I think she wants to show Woody a photograph. And is it customary to show the defense counsel or opposing counsel before you approach the witness to show them something just to make sure it's all on it up is, and up? It is required that you show opposing counsel any document that you intend to show to a witness. Mm. 
I'm showing you 378, then you echo one. Is this you in this picture? Can I see the pitch? It looked like it. And do you see, do you know who Ambassador Dennis is? I can't see nobody else in that photo. Okay. Is this date on this June 10th, 2015? Shout out to Trucking Empire. Everybody who receives a membership from Trucking Empire. Tell Trucking Empire, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Trucking Empire. Um, if you, what's it, what's the back end number? If you identify the first record. Yes. Which one is it? 378 Yankee. He has allowed 20 of you guys to come in, into the chat. And for 30 days, you'll never be locked out. Even if everybody else doesn't cooperate on my likes. They're almost there. They're at 4,000. You're almost there. If y'all can get me up maybe to another six, 4.6, four points down. Thank you so, so much, Trucking Empire. I'm going to add you to the banner as well as a co-sponsor. Woody is the man, by the way. Thank you, the Mikey story, for um, what's, it, what's the name of the exhibit? Three seventy. Thanking and acknowledging Trucking Empire. Yes, guys. If y'all get, if y'all got one of those memberships, acknowledge this man. He's giving y'all a photo. Food. Is that a photo of the um, interrogation? It looks mm -hmm. like a still of the video. Yes. Wow. Yeah, they caught Woody snitching. Woody. <laughs> what it was, that, it was like a three hour interrogation. He was there with no attorney. And he was saying, Oh, well, I can get you this, I can get you that. They about to kill somebody. I can and save all, his all life. Same objection is to unrelated. It's a foundation. So lay some foundation. Thank you so, so much, Trucking Empire. Looking at <clears throat> what's going to be tender at Stacey's Exhibit 378 Yankee Echo. Is this you in the video? No. Wow. So they are going to impeach him. He looked straight at that video and said it wasn't him. Any objection to states 378 Yankee Echo 1? No, this is the Can, yeah, can I see it? Yeah. Sir, can you step out? Can I step out? My head hurt. Yeah, you can step out. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Woody, man. Well, All right. Um, there's so many things I want to ask you about Arturo, but while they're conferencing up here, what was what were we going to talk about? The 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 ten days, the withdrawal. You know, can you explain where the ten days came from? So, you know, ordinarily, if you do anything, say anything, file anything on behalf of someone, as you pointed out uh, earlier in the show, you've created an attorney-client relationship. And once you do that, you are on the hook with the court. So if you want to get out of the case, either for non-payment or because the guy doesn't want to cooperate with you, doesn't take your advice, uh, if you determine there's a conflict of interest, and you want to withdraw from the case, you have to ask permission from the court to withdraw. And the first thing the court's going to say is, well, what does your client say about your wanting to withdraw? So you have to say, look, I filed a motion. I've sent my client a certified letter that says I intend to withdraw from your case. And here are your responsibilities that you need to be aware of. Your next court date is you need to maintain a contact with the court. Tell them your address if you move. And you need to give that client 10 days to object so that the judge knows that the client is not in agreement. Because the client might say, wait a minute, I paid him, I paid that lawyer what he asked me for. Now he's asking me for more, that's outside of our agreement. 
I don't want to let him go, Judge. Right. And the judge will probably call uh, for a hearing and ask the attorney and the client to put their positions on the record. But 99.9% of the time, the judge is going to let that attorney out of the case. Yeah, so so the 10 days is really a uh, protection for the client. And, um, you know, depending on when the attorney tries to get out of the case, a judge sometimes will keep the keep the attorney in and basically force the attorney to work for free. <laughs> um, if you yeah. wait too long to ask to withdraw, especially if it's an issue like non-payment, yeah. they decide to pay me the extra I asked for for a trial and you file that motion and now it's the Friday before trial, we're picking a jury. The judge is going to say, sorry, you waited uh-huh. too long. Uh-huh. Now uh-huh. you're going to try the case. And I don't care if you got stiffed on the fee. Yeah. They don't care about our money. These judges do not care about our money. We got about 10,000 people in here. Y'all know me, oh, y'all know AV, oh, but I also want to introduce y'all to my bro. All right. All right. All right. Thank you for watching. We're here at Bourbon on Live. My name is Noel, Battling MS, and I'm streaming the YSL Rico case. It's happening in Georgia. And there's so much happening in Georgia that this feels like a movie with corrupt judges, corrupt lawyers, and criminals being called to the stand. That we are living a bizarre world right now. So thank you, Georgia, for providing all this content to us. And shout out to the lead attorney. I'm a fan of his channel. So the lead attorney is that lawyer so speaking there when he's streaming the court case. So I'm streaming what he got. And woo, I'm learning so much about the legal system, just watching. And it's boring. Really, the um the people getting called are the ones that are making everything entertaining. So I gotta give a shout out. This particular court, the guy testifying is called Woody. He's doing a great job, you know? So expect something like that if you ever get called. Boring question just to get you out there. But here we are trying to create content, keep you guys entertained. Shout out to all the watches on X. And I'm trying to get my numbers up on YouTube. It's 10,800 subscribers right now. So the more, the better. And it gives me more motivation to continue to make content. So if you haven't gone to Verb on Life on YouTube, go ahead, check it out, give it a like, and subscribe. We're going to make it happen. At this point, they are conferencing. They're not really doing much. So I'm debating here. Should I continue streaming or should we call it a day? So go ahead and comment below. Let me know. Do you want to continue watching? Give it a like. Or are we done here? I'm going to try to come back later on, maybe in the afternoon, 1 o'clock, and continue streaming. The more, the better. So far, I'm looking at X. and I have zero likes on X. But I got 45 viewers. So if you want me to continue streaming, go ahead and click on that like or the heart. The heart emoji is the one on on X. So let me close it up. I put a I put an index pool in my backyard. So I gotta go warm it up. And I gotta go clean it out. So like that I could maybe jump in the pool. You know how it is when you retire, you got to figure out things to do. Well, one of the things that I did was put a pool in my backyard and put a pond. The pond, I can't put fishes because that means you got to take care of them. And just don't have the time to take care of fishes. Think about it. So I got a pond over there with no fishes. It has a waterfall. And then right next to it, I got a pool, a salt water pool, which I got to go take a look at. And fix. So those are my plan in retirement. Okay. Take care of my pool, my pond, and take care of my streams. Continue to stream for you guys. Hopefully, you're entertained by everything that I'm putting out there. 
I'm just enjoying the fact that I can move my hands, my fingers, my mouth, look, talk, think straight a little bit, <laughs> a little crazy, but you got to be crazy nowadays. Positive crazy, you know, healthy crazy. All right. So like I said, I'm going on backyard now. Peace out to you guys on the next stream. I'm going to try to get over later in the afternoon. Right now it's 1240. Here in New York City, shout out to all my people in Harlem. You know how it is. And I'm out. Peace. Verbal. All right. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What the hell is going on with the stream? Oh my God, this is crazy.